Well, I'm recording this on Good Friday, the day where we recognize everything that Jesus did for us because of his great love. The scripture tells us that Jesus endured and that we likewise are to endure. I believe that right now we are in a season of endurance, not just a season of waiting, certainly a season of rest, but not a season to get lazy, a season to turn and reset our passions and our desires on the kingdom of God, the things that matter most in this life. The writer of Hebrews tells us that we have need of endurance. In chapter 10, he says, don't throw away the confident trust you have in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings. There is a reward that we have for following Jesus. What you need now is patient endurance so that you will continue to do God's will. And then you will receive all that he has promised. But we are not like those who turn away from God to their own destruction. No, we are the faithful ones whose soul will be saved. Now, the promise of reward is tied up in the willingness on our part to continue to hold fast to Jesus and to endure. A couple of chapters later, in verse 12, he says, We are surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses of the faith. Let us strip off everything that slows us down and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, keeping our eyes on Jesus. He is the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross. Disregarding its shame, now he's seated at the place of honor. Think of all the hostility that he endured against sinners, so you will not become weary and give up. God wants us to know that Jesus endured out of the reward he was going to receive of all of us coming into relationship with him and that we too have to go through times of a cross experience where it works death in us so that we endure through that and we receive the promise God has for us. Endurance, patient endurance is what we need now. All God has for us as our inheritance is promised to us if we persevere, if we endure, and do not shrink back into destruction. Let me pray with you. Father, I thank you that you, Jesus, have shown us how you have persevered and endured for us. And likewise, Lord, we can endure as we keep our eyes fixed upon you. God, we're thankful for the, the finished work of Jesus so that we could be made whole and be made alive in you. Now, keep us, Lord, during this season of, of resetting our hearts and our minds. Keep our minds focused on Jesus and our heart running after you, that we would love you with all of our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength that we would love others in the same way that we love ourselves. That is our prayer, Father, in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I look forward to being with you Sunday morning, Resurrection Sunday.